Hi guys, welcome back to The Clean Scalpel. My name is Dr. Ankur Shuklo, and as always, we're here to make you start thinking about surgery like professional athletes think about their sport, something that requires time, energy, and of course, the most fun thing, which is a lot of practice. Uh, so guys, I had a really good um, response from the medical students and some of the residents about the video reviews, and so I've decided to continue the process moving forward to one-handed uh, knot tying. This is in our continuation of tasks that we had our virtual AIs do. And so I'm going to take this opportunity now to number one, thank them for allowing me to share their videos. And number two, get into really looking at the nitty gritties of the technical motions that are involved in one hand at a time. So without any further ado, let's get to this exciting session. So what I usually have them start doing uh, when I first work with them is I have them send me a 30 second clip of them doing a slow motion video. And this way we really break down second by second what they can do differently to speed up the process. So let's just watch here for a little bit, okay? So we have a backhand here. Notice that not the fingers are not all the way through, which is nice. It helps for efficiency of motion as we move to work up the pace. And then the thing that I'm always most particular about is, is the student securing the knot? And you can see the finger right on top of the knot, which is great. Yep, and it goes down nice and secure. That's fantastic. Okay. You notice that she's sliding her hands back to get ready for the next one. Good, nice release there, allowing the suture to come on through. And great, really using the hand as a post, securing the knot. Notice the fingers right on top of the knot, which is just perfect. So this was really at the beginning. We haven't really pushed them for pace. And so they have the luxury of really focusing on the technique. And I think you guys can see, even in slow motion, that the technique here is overall good. Uh, one thing we'll work on later with this particular student is working a little bit further back. And uh, we'll get to that. But overall, a really good start. Let's look at another video here. Okay, here's another. I believe it might be the same student. So now you can see that I've pushed her a little bit more for speed. And you notice that some of the subtle techniques do break down. I'm going to pause it right here. So before, she was really securing the knot all the way down. Now watch the difference here. You notice the finger as compared to the knot. So again, guys, this is a very common mistake that when you do try to speed up, in order to maintain that speed, you lose some of that technical aspects of it. Now, the finger is below the level of the knot, but again, just to work on specific technique, especially if you're working in a hole, this would be a little bit not as efficient. Okay, so again, with the speed, a little modification. You notice our fingers got stuck in the suture. And guys, the most common reason for that error is when you are trying to speed it up, you tend to hold on to the reins a little bit too hard. And let's just see an example of that, okay? So when you're trying to work on speed and you pull really, really hard, you notice that if I'm keeping this tight, my margin of error is really decreased. Versus during this portion, notice I'm working way back. If I keep this loose, I can really swing my finger across there without any problem. So I'm keeping it nice and loose, no real tension, and that actually really helps that process, okay? And, and that's what we're kind of working on here. Okay. So again, she's working pretty close to the knot, which over time can hurt your ability to send the fingers through, but this otherwise looks pretty good. Again, fingers getting further and further away. Again, this is a normal part of the process. It's just good that we observe it together. And you notice here that it's a little bit of a non-traditional method of passing the suture, but 
I think we did end up correcting this, but you know, as long as you're consistent and it, uh, the margin of error is high, I think anything is really possible. Let's look at another movie here. So you notice here, a lot of the good stuff, the hand motion is actually very, very fast for this student. The fingers moving quickly, being able to pass the knot through, no problems. But then the subtleties, again, with the securing the knot, her hand is below the level of the knot. But you notice it's quite far away, way down there. So not necessarily as secure as being right on top of it. So she is timing herself using the metronome, something we always use to kind of make sure you're getting a pace down. And now you start seeing as the suture is getting smaller and she's trying to keep pace, she's only, instead of using all this space over here, she's just using this space down here, which again can cramp your hands a little bit, decreasing the margin of error, and that'll actually slow you down even more. Yes, that looks nice. But just so a subtle change here, working a little bit further back in the knots, will let you actually increase the margin of error and actually increase your time at which you can drop these knots. But overall, the hand and the finger motion is really fast, and so she's compensating well. You notice here, she gets a little stuck for that same reason, because she's working a little bit lower. And again, this is okay. This is the normal part of getting better at this. <laughs> and I think she's happy about it. Let's look at something else. So this is a little bit later. And you notice that the technique has definitely gotten much better. She's really putting on the jets here, working on that speed. Definitely working a little bit further back. I would like to see her work a little bit further back more than this. And again, the, the securing occurs further away because we are again pushing her for speed. But overall it definitely does look slick and this is, you know, really goes to show how much time and energy these students have put into just practicing this simple task and I honestly love it. Let's look at another video here. So again, early in our course She's going for speed, and you notice securing it out here, not necessarily as good as having the hand and the index finger essentially on top of the knot. And we work to get this knot secure with this particular student. But again, the thing that I was really impressed with all these students is that their finger motion to get the knots through is actually incredibly fast. I mean, and to feel as confident doing that was just, it was good to see. Yeah, that looks nice. Now, I do want to congratulate the student for the nice setup here. And you notice that he's pretty steady, but it looks really slick as he's going through the motions. And what I love about this is, look how secure that knot is. Just love it. Yeah, look at that. That's nice. The one thing that he does that I really enjoy seeing students do, and this is a little bit of an advanced technique, is that you notice, look at his left hand. This is something we don't talk about enough. A lot of people just hold on to it like they're flying a kite. When he's get, getting ready to throw the knot, he's actually using that left hand to assist him in forming in that knot. So look at that. So you can see that the motion here, he did it pretty still. But that nice little subtle dip to help the uh, knot pass through. That looks nice. You notice he's working further back and really using that index finger to slide the knot down. I mean, this is just textbook and it looks real pretty. Now, usually as they approach the end of their time with me, I actually have them push for one-handed for speed and my kind of uh, litmus test for them is 30 knots in a second. Now, this particular student blew that away and let's just look at some of the techniques she uses. So first of all, great setup. Uh, 
She has her phone out. You can see how many knots she's doing. So she's working really fast. You can see that there is that you lose a little bit of that slick factor as you push for speed, but that's what you need to get to the next stage. Now, a couple of things that she's doing really well. You notice that even with speed, her fingers aren't way out here. She's still fairly close to the tip of the knot. Now, she is using that left hand a little bit to help form the knot, but it's not as uh, it's not as um, pronounced as that perhaps I would like to see it. But I mean, you know, you got to get a uh, fire extinguisher here because this thing is just on fire. This is great. Notice the quick finger motion. This is fantastic. Nice and secure knots. And this is just, you know, a wonderful example of how a lot of things are coming together. My only suggestion for her, now looking at this, you're thinking that, Dr. Shukla, how, how can you get better than this? And, you know, it's hard to and really goes to show how much time and energy she's put into this simple task. But the only thing I told her is trying to keep this a little bit looser. And even I'm guilty of pulling up on it as you're working for speed. But, again, this is a fantastic, fantastic start. And this is just her doing it for about a month. So, you know, I'd, lo I'd love to be... Uh, her patient someday if, if she shows this much tact of just mastering something like this for one month. This is fantastic. So, a uh, different student, and you notice that her technique has really gotten much, much better throughout the course of the training. A little bit of hiccup as we're passing it through. Again, the trick being to lead their sutures a little bit looser. But her finger motion is fast. Her putting the knot down is definitive. And again, this is everything that we like to see. So guys, um, I hope this helps for you people that are currently in the course. Um, you know, you can see several different examples of how things are done as well as hopefully you got saw a little bit of a glimpse of the progression of where you start off and also where you can be. And this is really possible by anybody with just time, energy, and of course, practice. Uh, you notice the subtle things about keeping the knots a little bit uh, taut when you're securing it, but also how you gotta keep your hands loose when you're actually tying the knot. That increases the margin of error and really lets you be a little bit faster with your fingers. Which is really, um, that's not what the rate limiting step for knot tying usually is. The rate limiting step in my experience has always been securing the knot. And we'll just show that very, very quickly in that you can, this process can always be very fast and you can speed that up. The thing that always takes the longest is ensuring that the knots are actually secure because that is a secure, secure, secure. And again, that's okay. I would rather just see the students spend more time with the security of the knot than actually the speed at which they're moving their fingers because at the end of the day, you don't want a knot to fall off anywhere in the body. Okay, guys, again, thank you so much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. It does matter. I'm trying to get uh, a little bit more assistance to make this a bigger deal for us. Uh, so I'm, my goal is to try to reach a lot more people, not only in the acting internship, but uh, nationally as well. Um, please thank you for all the students that have spent so much time and energy uh, showing off your skills and allowing me to share those skills with everybody else. Uh, until next time, guys, we'll be sh showing some video reviews of instrument tying, which I think is a great skill to have, and you'll see how we can make that even more efficient. Okay, guys, until next time.